The World Meteorological Organization says it's not yet time to heave a sigh of relief over global climate change challenges. The WMO's latest report says the world will have to wait until the 2060s to begin to see transformational changes through mitigated efforts. We have details in this report. Secretary General of the World Meteorological Organization says negative trends in weather patterns may continue until the 2060s, despite efforts to mitigate climate change. According to the annual flagship report tagged State of the Global Climate, which was launched on the 21st of April at the United Nations in Geneva, droughts, floods and heat waves affected communities on every continent and cost many billions of dollars as climate change continued to advance in 2022. WMO Secretary General says the world has doubled the sea level rise during the past 20 years. He also mentioned areas in Africa badly affected by climate change. We have again broken new record in ocean heat, uh, heat content which is for example giving more energy for the tropical storms, uh, cyclones, uh, hurricanes and, uh, and uh, typhoons. Uh, we used to have 2.3 millimeters per year sea level rise uh, 20 years ago, and recently we have seen 4.6 millimeters per year increases. And that increase is very much coming from the melting of uh, major glaciers in Greenland and uh, Antarctica. New figures by the WMO show that global temperatures have continued to rise, making 2015 to 2022 the eighth warmest ever. The WMO says concentration of the three main greenhouse gases, which trap heat in the atmosphere, reached record highs in 2021, which is the latest year for which consolidated data is available and that there are indications of a continued increase in 2022. Unfortunately, this negative trend in weather patterns uh, uh, and all of these parameters may continue until 2060s, uh, independent of our success in, in climate uh, mitigation. We have already emitted so much, uh, of especially carbon dioxide, to the atmosphere that, uh, that this kind of uh, phasing out of the, of the negative trend uh, takes uh, several several decades. Record-breaking rainfall in Pakistan in July and August last year killed more than 1,700 people, while about 33 million persons were affected. 